There you go, get him. There he goes, running. Running. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Uh, he's caught in that tree. Oh, he got him. Get him, boy. Get him. You know what time it is. Today, we are on Rocky Creek Lake and the Cedar Creek Reservoir which is a 847-acre man-made lake on the Catawba River. It is also known as Stumpy Pine and is a favorite spot for crappy fishermen and kayakers. Stumpy Pine sits between Fishing Creek Lake and Watery Lake along the Catawba River Basin. This part of the Catawba River Basin has historic significance dating back to the American Revolution. A military reservation was conceived and selected by President George Washington to be one of the nation's three national arsenal armories as well as a military academy. Part of the plan included a construction of a canal that would be a source of water power. Legal disputes with the Catawba Navigation Company prevented the completion of the waterway. During the 1790s, the site was planned to store ammunition and make weapons for the South. In 1802, Secretary of War Henry Ditterborn purchased 523 acres, and by early 1804, construction began on the magazine and arsenal, but the armory was never constructed. By 1807, the Army refocused its defense priorities to Charleston, South Carolina. As a result, construction slowed, and by 1825, the site was reported as abandoned and turned back over to the state four years later. Today, there are just a few ruins left at the old Mount Dearborn Reservation. These ruins can be found at the north end of the Big Island. There are also some ruins of the old concrete beams used by goat farmers. The concrete beams mark trenches where the farmers would dip their goats to remove parasites. In 1907, the Dearborn Hydro Dam was built by the Southern Power Company to provide power to the Great Falls community. Today the lake is operated by Duke Power and public access is provided through two public boat ramps. One is located at the debutary access area and the other is located at the stumpy pond access area as indicated on the map. Some of the most spectacular paddling and fishing water in South Carolina is located on Rocky Creek Lake. Although parts of Rocky Creek Lake were separated from the Catawba River by an island created by an artificial channel diverting the river's flow for hydroelectric generation purposes, Rocky Creek is the original channel of the Catawba River south of Fishing Creek. Rocky Creek ends at the Cedar Creek Hydro Dam, with the river below it eventually becoming Cedar Creek flowing into Lake Watery. Much of the eastern shoreline of Rocky Creek Lake is an unnamed wildlife management area. The islands are also inhabited. Rocky Creek Lake officially has 20 miles of shoreline. The large islands add many more miles. The islands were former hilltops and ridges, many of which now exist only as sandbars during periods of low water flow. The northern margins of Rocky Creek Lake are exposed boulders and ledges that once formed rapids and waterfalls. Few people are aware of Rocky Creek Lake and the excellent fishing and paddling sport possibilities on the lake. Canoeing and kayaking have become increasingly popular here and as a result Duke Energy is investing millions of dollars to bring whitewater rafting, kayaking, and boating to the small community of Great Falls on the Catawba River. It's doing so by restoring the flow of water once diverted from the dams that were first built. Duke has stepped up and they are now dredging and building the best whitewater rafting opportunity in 14 states in the southeast. I hope that you have enjoyed my video on the origins of the Great Falls Creeks and how they were developed into what now is Rocky Creek Lake. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll catch you later.